The upcoming Fedora Linux 34 release will bring some awesome new features and better hardware support to allow you to run the new Linux operating system on newer and even more machines. Coming up on Runboxing. I already know that Fedora Linux 34 is one of the most anticipated distribution release of 2021. And that's mostly because it will ship with a vanilla, almost untouched GNOME 40 desktop experience on top of some of the newest new Linux technologies such as Linux kernel 5.11. So if you are a fan of the GNOME desktop environment and you want to try the exciting new design changes in GNOME 40, you should look out for the final release of Fedora Linux 34 workstation next month. But under the hood, where the magic happens, Fedora Linux 34 will include some exciting new changes. One of these is the enablement of support for haptic touchpads, such as those used on Apple MacBook, but also on other laptops that will be released throughout 2021. Christian Saylor, Senior Manager for Desktop at Red Hat, shares today on his blog details about these important changes in Fedora Linux 34 which gives us access to the newest and best in input. But he makes no guarantees since laptops with the haptic touchpads aren't so popular right now. He says we have been putting in the effort to ensure that we can support this new type of devices as they come out, said Sailor. So if you see laptops you want with haptic touchpads, then Fedora Workstation should be ready for it. Talking about newest and best in input, I can confirm that Fedora Linux 34 with Linux kernel 5.11 fully supports the touchpad on the Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3 laptop. In addition to the enhanced hardware support, Fedora Linux 34 will also improve support for Flatpak app by enabling incremental updates for smaller and faster updates and give you access to even more Flatpak apps from the FlatHub portal by allow you to enable it in Fedora via third-party repositories during the initial setup. Last but not least, Fedora Workstation 34 aims to enable the low-latency Pipewire multimedia engine for audio to replace Pulse Audio and Jack for better Bluetooth audio support and support for more pro audio apps and also provide the usual layer of Wayland improvements. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. It helps make a good content for you. Other than that, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.
Thank you.